Uh, we support gas, Hamish. Uh, gas will be important in saving current jobs and the jobs over the next considerable period of time. And of course, gas will help us build the, the jobs of tomorrow. And, and coal? Coal will also help us build the jobs of tomorrow. Um, both of those baseload providers will be important to the stability of the grid and will be important to allowing more renewables into the energy system. We cannot do it without them. And so... Well, coal-fired generators will continue to make a contribution until they reach the end of their physical and economic lives. And for some, that will be right out to 2050. For others, like Liddell, the gas, of course, will be part of the system for many, many decades to come. We can't possibly run the system on 100% renewables, even if we could do it quickly and the financing was there, the grid simply isn't capable of remaining stable without synchronous baseload power. So, well, it took us about 20 years, Hamish, to get to around 20% renewables, uh, and, and that's the sort of pace of change you could expect. Uh, it may accelerate as the market moves and as technology changes and becomes cheaper, but it's not going to happen overnight. Even if we could get 50 to 50% 50 renewables in a quicker time, then axiomatically you'd still be relying on fossil fuels for the balance of the 50%. Um, experts and our think tanks make all sorts of predictions about what's going to be happening in 2045, 2050. And there's a fair bit of guesswork that goes on there. And of course, many of these think tanks are funded by people who have a certain ideological view on these subjects. But look, our position on gas is clear. Uh, we support getting more gas out of the ground. We support building more gas pipelines to put downward pressure on gas prices. Uh, we support building new ele gas electricity generation. And of course, we support uh, exporting more gas and earning more foreign exchange as long as it's not putting upward pressure on prices here at home. Labor's well, you know, this fracking word's become a bit of a dirty word, Hamish, for some reason. It's extensively used in let's the United let's States. Let's just ignore... Well, fracking is the use of high-pressure water to split... Um, uh, coal effectively uh, or shale to get gas out of the ground. Um, we support any project which is capable of jumping the very, very considerable uh, scientific and environmental hur hurdles we tend to put in front of these projects. We should speak just as often, just as loudly, just as clearly, with just as much pride about our determination to ensure that uh, fossil fuels, while they need to, continue to play a role in the system. The Labor Party works in mysterious ways.